Hi, this is Clay again from Lake Charles Toyota, and I'm here once again with Joey LeBlanc. Say hi, Joey. Hi. All right, we're standing in front of a 2015 Prius 3, and we wanted to show you something actually, actually pretty cool and uh, kind of necessary. Anyone who's not familiar with the hybrid system or how it works, first thing I want to show you is what's under the hood, because most of you are not going to understand what this means or what it's about. Uh, to small definition, hybrid is just half gas, half electric. Don't know, you don't have to plug it in, and no, it doesn't have to hydrogen or anything. It's just completely normal with gas, and everything else does itself. When you pop the hood, it looks everything the same as if, because this is just a 1.8 four cylinder, same thing that's in the Corolla. However, where your battery would be is the inverter, converter. So obviously your battery's not here. Where it is is actually in the back hatch, and I'll show you how to get to that. Underneath the Toyota emblem on the back hatch, you have a little button that releases it. See right here, it releases the back hatch. And your battery is underneath all of this. And it's gonna seem like a puzzle piece, but I wanna show everybody so you're not gonna be afraid of how to get to it. First thing you gotta do is remove your floor mat. we are set all this on the ground for right now. Make sure these are unlocked. Pull this up out of the way. A little under storage compartment. And now, what actually, you see right now is the back of the actual hybrid battery itself. Now, the battery that you need to actually help start the car, just like a traditional engine would be, is actually right under here. Reason I'm showing all of this: two reasons. One. It is possible for this small battery to die and you have to jump it just like you would a regular car if you leave your headlights on or if you leave an interior light on and so you jump it from back here with a positive and negative port. But like I showed you, the back hatch can be released with that electric switch. So if your battery is so dead it can't even open this back hatch, there is a way to do it underneath the hood and I'll show you that way. And just like in any other vehicle, your fuse box is going to be at the top driver corner to the right. Pull the cover off and you see a little red rectangle with a plus on it. That's your positive point. It exposes a point where you can put your negative prong and then you would, I mean your positive, sorry, and you put the negative just somewhere against on the metal on the frame, is what basically you say, right? And that's how you would jump the vehicle from the front using the fuse box. So whenever it comes to this, you just make sure that the positive's connected and the negative's grounded. And that's right. pretty much it. And a lot of people kind of think you can't ever jump a Prius and there's, you're afraid you're going to electrocute yourself. It's not that complicated. Just remember that if you have enough power to at least get that back open, easiest way is going through the battery and do a traditional way like you should. But there's lots of times where it dies to the point where it doesn't, can't even open the back hatch and you can do it through the fuse panel in the front. Yeah. So it's just kind of keep in mind that even though the hybrid system does have its own hybrid battery, it does need the standard battery to uh, get it going. Yep. So. Uh, just a little bit of technology yeah. stuff I just thought about because I had to jump Prius and a lot the other day someone left the headlights running and I thought it would be a good idea to show everybody out there. And a little bit to show everyone that hybrids aren't as scary as they seem and they're not that complicated either. Yeah. All right, well, if you guys have any questions about any of this type of stuff, anything hybrid related, Prius related, or any vehicle at all, we at all. Desperate. we sound extremely desperate. <laughs> we sound desperate. <laughs> we need ideas for videos. We do have anyway. ideas sometimes. <laughs> if you need something, just uh, send us a message, let us know. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.